show you four different types of ways that I wrap my hair. This one is what people call the Erica Badu, the Nefertiti wrap, and I'm gonna do three other ones. So if you would like to find out how I wrap my hair, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put my hair in a ponytail bun. When, you, when I put my hair in a ponytail, I don't have a lot at the end. So I just scrunchie this piece of cloth that I have, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail. And I'm gonna make sure the ponytail sits about right here, not too high. side tightly not to give yourself a headache but just to make sure that everything is in there properly and I put it over my ear while always holding the other side because you don't want that side to move you're gonna bring it right over that side to make sure that side doesn't move and bring it all the way to the other side like so and then when you get to the other side I like to pull it together at the back not tightly and then this part is just not broken. and then I wrap it like so making sure that it's taut and I wrap it again and that's what gives you the different textures. And then I am just going to tuck this piece in. So I roll the end and I find some place to tuck it. That's not a good place. Tuck it in there. Let's find some place to tuck it and any other pieces that are hanging out. And oh, my ear. I like to have it over my ear. I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit. I like it over my ear. And there you go. in my hairnet but like this I just hold it a little bit more ways up and I'm gonna do the same thing put it on my head over my forehead it's not even at all <laughs> make sure it's even I'm going to tie it at the back, and this time it should cover all my hair. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So now it's tied at the back. Create a two strand twist, but a rope twist. So, first, you're going to twist it around your finger and then twist it. so that the twist makes it around so I'm pulling it and then I'm going to take the end piece and I'm going to tuck 
kit in the back. So it's tucked in this one piece, it's gonna piss me off. Make sure the sides are even and you're going to tie it in the back like you would tie a shoelace like when you're about to tie your shoes and pull it taut not too tight we're not about to walk around with a headache all day and make sure that your butt is completely covered Holding the first one, just spread it out and I'm going to wrap it around the bun area. So let me turn to the back for you guys. Take this other piece and I'm going to twist it around my finger. Make sure this looks how I want it to look. It's, it's, good, it's important to make sure that it's spread out. We're going to wrap it the same way I showed you guys. And now we're just going to tuck it into itself. We're going to take this one. We're going to wrap it around our finger. And we're going to take this around the rim of the bun like to make it kind of look like a scrunchie. And Voila! I'm just gonna fix it because I can't see. I'm gonna fix it how I want. It's going to loosen up as the day goes by. So if you would like to pin it right here, I'm not going anywhere. But if sometimes I would put two bobby pins right in the back, close to the bun, just to make sure that it doesn't slide too much. So with this next hairstyle, I'm going to use this colorful scarf again. And this one is very simple. I'm not going to say I made it up, but I didn't find it online or I didn't see anyone do this one before. Um, but that's not to say people haven't done it before. But this one, I'm going to use my hairnet again because my hair doesn't need to be in any particular shape. You just put it on the top front of your head like this. The plant is attacking me. It's like, girl, get out of my space. Anyway, let's make sure it's even on both sides. Well, as even as possible. And then, you're going to tie it. You're not going to tie it. You're going to cross it at the back. And you're going to hold it taut like this. Then what you're going to do here, make sure you guys can see this, you're going to cross it, loop it around again, and then pull it to the opposite side. And then you're going to pull those pieces 
in what kind of looks like an X. If you can see, here's the middle, here's the other pieces. We can deal with making it look pretty afterwards. And we're gonna pull it back. And you're gonna tuck. So I'm gonna tuck one side at a time. And I'm just gonna slide it under there. Boom. And then the other side of the X, we're gonna take it and slide it under the opposite side. And try to tuck it as flat as possible. Boom, boom, boom. What is this? There's a piece sticking out. Where are you from? And any loose pieces, depending on how your scarf is shaped and how it's cut, just tuck, tuck, tuck. Yeah. I can't see. Okay, there you go. And again, I like my ears under. You can definitely pull your ears out if you would like to. Me personally, I don't. So now you have this cute X head wrap. And I'm going to give you guys a 360. I can show you guys what it would look like with a plain scarf, but I thought I'd use the pink scarf <laughs> for every other one. And yes, with a plain scarf, you would get more of the look. You would get more of, um, you're able to see the X more. But I like to do it with this scarf because you can see the X, but then you're like, where is it going? I don't know. I just like to pack it. try these I would love to see it and you try it just hashtag me on Instagram so you can tag me hashtag two ease please or hashtag Julissa C whichever you prefer and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye